Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT, Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. And we're playing Madden 20. It is, is the this, 20th. This is Dynamite Saga. It is. It is the Dynamite Saga. It is. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. I love it, dude. I love it so much. You are going to be the greatest all-time quarterback there ever has been. Uh, yeah, like in just like in real life. Yeah, dude, you're a good quarterback. Where I'm amazing at quarterback and yeah, yeah, and dime backing, nickel backing, dime backing, huh? <laughs> Penny backing. Penny back. I said nickel back too. By the way, just throwing that out there. Oh, nickel back. How do you feel about nickel back, Jones? Give me your real hot take. Answer, nickel back. Go. I think every one of their songs sounds alike that I've ever heard. I couldn't tell the difference between them and like 18 other bands that came out around Ooh, that time. Ooh, hence the death of rock music. <laughs> yeah, they killed off rock they music were, forever. They were the harbinger of death for rock music, man. They kind of were, dude. Yeah. That and Hinder. Like Ooh, Hinder. Yeah, that that Lips of an Angel song everybody was like all singing back. And like, I would never steal your kiss. <laughs> Evanescence. Ew. Well, that yeah, that was a little different because like because like that was a female singer, so they were like, oh. mm. break me up inside. Is that, was yeah. that them? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. It's kind of weird because like female, I feel like female acts, rock acts, do did not get the same fair shake that the male rock acts got. They don't at all. Like the Bangles is like the only female rock group I can think of. Uh, Heart, had, Heart, uh, yeah. yeah, Heart had some female singers. But Joan Jett. Joan Jett. But she, she wasn't really like. She's a rock. Like, I love rock and roll. Like, oh, yeah. Like okay. Jukebox baby. Cranberries. Cranberries. Do you remember uh, Kitty? Yeah. I really like that. There was another one, Sleener Kitty. Sleener Kitty. They're still around. Yeah. There was a band that, like, no one really knows about that was actually pretty decent. I saw them, like, uh, they opened up for, like, Cold Chamber or somebody a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, Human Waste Project. And they had a female. I've sound. heard of them. Yeah, they, that album is actually pretty. They only have one album, they only have one CD. Yeah. And the CD is not half bad. It might have actually been you who told me about yeah, it. Yeah, probably did, yeah. Because I, 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 heard, like, I heard them, I was like, oh, wow, they're not bad. And, like, the lead singer was hot so. I, I guess uh oh and there was a uh, republica they had a, a female singer veruca salt dude veruca salt yeah uh there was another one around. oh god all oh, the dynamites going You're, look at your scrambling abilities dude it's but like, uh no doubt of yeah, course right remember we would run with you all the time and then all of a sudden start fun <laughs> yeah good i'm glad but, uh, you started yeah, talking uh, no oh, no doubt yeah, no doubt. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because the see, there is Ruka Salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another one, Babes in Toyland. But yeah, but even even though, even still, Jonas, all of these do not have the same impact as an Aerosmith or no. Metallica. No, dude, they don't. Or even an ACDC. I don't even think Van Halen, dude. Like, none of these acts yeah, were as big as, put, like... Even, even if you put, like... Heart up with Van. Heart is like a pretty good yeah. classic rock band. Exactly. They have a lot of famous songs. So I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of. It's just kind of weird. Like uh, yeah. Yeah, man. That females just couldn't get the rock thing. I mean, the rock thing going for them. Yeah. There's and not I don't a whole. It's because their voices are low. Like you know what I mean? It's just like a natural like. Like I don't, you know what I mean? I don't you don't know. hear the aggression. Maybe? Words, I mean, their voices are high. I mean, I guess. Yeah, you don't hear like the aggression in their in their voices that it takes. It has to be like convincing aggression. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think there's some pretty good uh, death metal singers that are female. I could definitely see that. Yeah, like I think. Otep, I think, is a, is a band. I think Otep does. They, they have a female singer. Lords of Acid. Mm. Oh, that's a little metal, though. That was like techno. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to bring them up because I remembered them. <laughs> it's it, and you know what's funny is like when I think about country music, I think about women having like a very dominant footprint there. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I mean, think. Like, it's, it's not, yeah, I mean, there's still like you think a lot of like famous male singers, but like there's a lot of famous. Yeah, singers. yeah it's, the, the division is definitely it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In rap, it's it's getting there, man. Yeah. Cars, yeah. There's like three or four that are really good, no real up and comers. But like, like, I mean, if you think about, like, do you consider Queen Latifah? A hundred percent. She's like the, the OG queen. Who was like? Yeah, that was old school. That was like classic. Rap. She was like oh, long, long with like LL Cool J. Oh God. <laughs> Have you ever heard her her songs? Do you ever listen to Queen Latifah? You I ain't a hoe or a bitch. Yo, I ain't a oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yo, 
I will listen to that, not really. Um, <laughs> it's a classical the music. Female rapper that you can think of. The first one for me was Eve. Um, she was in the Rough Riders because I was a big DMX fan. But Queen Latifah was before that. I didn't listen to Queen Latifah, no, man. No, who's the first female rapper you can think of that was prominent? Oh. Period. Like, whether you listen to him or not. Jesus, man. Who was the first female rapper? That you can think of, not who would. Okay, I would say Sheila E, maybe? Dude, I, was, I see that. Uh, Sheila E? Yeah, Sheila E is the earliest one I can think of. She was a rapper? Yes. Uh, early 90s, probably. Late 80s, early 90s. I've never really listened to Sheila E, but I've, I'm, I'm familiar. You, like you know who she is? Yeah, I know who she is. My brother, who is like 15 years older than me, he knows about Sheila E. Uh, My okay. mother knows about Sheila E, but... Oh, I got you. Yeah, there's a, there's a difference in, in age there. Ooh, Mr. Hooper. Ooh, Hooper. Um, but uh, Sheila E, I guess, and then, but the first one I ever listened to was Eve, uh, Rough Riders, and then, yeah, and then Nicki Minaj, when she was new, I used to listen to a lot, so she had some really good stuff. What about Debrat? I do remember Debrat. They're so, so. Funkified, and there was oh, deflected, Ooh, deflect, Lady Rage, deflect, deflectified. She had one song. Yeah, that was it. She was on like the Snoop CD too. Yeah, but she only had one song. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sure, she she did some features. Dude, it's almost time to listen to the Chance the Rapper Christmas album again. I was thinking <laughs> that same thing. <laughs> I only do Damn. it from Thanksgiving until Christmas. That's yes. one month. <laughs> I seriously, Jonas, this morning I woke up and I was thinking, if you're down with that, doo, 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 I was like, do do so do Angels on the ground. I can't <laughs> wait to listen to that. Dude, no, no, no. Oh, I know no. it makes it so much better. What was the one about Jesus and the booty? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something with Jesus. No, no, no. I don't, no. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I will some Christmas. It's pretty <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, dude. All right, so so for those who are uninitiated to why me and Jonas are laughing, every Christmas, me and Jonas, we we make sure to spend a little time in the living room together, and we listen to Chance the Rapper's "Merry Christmas, Little Mama." Yeah, it is Old deluxe. Like I'm this free promotion, whatever. Yeah, man. Right? It is a, a very CD. good. It's a free CD. It's a mixtape. You can get it on that Piff or wherever. It's on Spotify, it's on Spotify. 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 Too. Yeah. No, maybe that's SoundCloud. I think it is. It's not SoundCloud. It's, 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 it's not Spotify. It's on SoundCloud. Okay, it's on Sound uh, Remastered, and it is just a good, wholesome, but it is an entertaining Christmas album. Yeah, it's and there's one. So- yeah, that one song, the yeah. Angels on the Ground song. Oh, yeah, that sh- should have made it. I know. They needed to. That sh- should have made it. It's that is a good uh, song. I don't even yeah. listen to any of that, but like. Because what happened was the first like you've been uh, we've been in the same place for this will be the what the third Christmas I guess yeah I guess and, so uh, and like that first year remember we were out here doing something and we like turned it on just to like be stupid yeah. and then we listened to the whole thing we're like we should put that through again that was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. And then last Christmas I was like dude I can't wait for November I had listened to that when I was living in Florida uh, the Christmas prior to well yeah I guess so Christmas prior to coming up here. And then I probably threw it on. You were like, yeah, why don't you take control of the, the helm? But I, I've been listening to that song, that CD, for like the last four years. The one, it's like, it's, it's like the so Jackson good. Five cover. Yeah, there's some good cuts on there, man. But when, I did. Okay, when, when, when is it okay to listen to it? When is it okay to listen to Christmas? Is it like Black Friday? I kind of feel like it has to be, man. I kind of feel like it has to be. And you have what, till New Year's Eve? Yeah, because I don't want to get tired of it. Right, and I only listen to it a month a year, so I, I'd never get tired exactly. of it. Exactly, yeah. And I don't listen, like, disclaimer, I listen to no Christmas music. Yeah. None. Me either. Yeah, like, so that's my, now it's my new Christmas cut. It's not that I don't appreciate Christmas music, but, uh, I don't really, you know, you hear it your whole life, man. <laughs> It's not always the same song. Yeah. Like, yeah. other than Mariah Carey coming out with that one in the 90s. Yeah, that's 
live in the West. That's why I say this, that, that chick's a rapper, Jeremiah song. Should have been. That should have called. better than that. Though. It really is, man. Yeah, we should try to get it big this year. <laughs> Let's use our clout, dude. We're not trying to get it big for Chance the Rapper out here. It's already big. Why don't we cover it and we get it big? Nope. Yo, because you can't sing and neither can I. Dude, I want to listen to it. Man. We got two weeks. All right, Love I'm cool with that. Dude. I'm cool with that. What, yeah. are you, what are you doing for Thanksgiving, fam? Uh, the same thing I've done the last two years. Man. Oh, I'm gonna cook steak again. You want to eat steak? Man, I uh, eat steak, but I'll, I'll cook steak regardless. You know what, Jonas? <laughs> you probably will eat steak this year. I would be willing to murder an animal with like with my good friend for Thanksgiving. Yeah, dude, I probably will uh, go buy some steaks from the Mexican market. You can buy like good. four T-bones, right, and then cook them and cut them up into sli- you know, and then I'll well, probably make some stuffing. Stove top. You know oh, stove top. I did. I know. And that's probably it. Didn't it was, I eat some of that last year? I broke down and ate stove yeah, top. Yeah, you, you can't not. <laughs> oh, and then dude. last year, my girlfriend had never had stuffing because she's she's Hispanic and they don't. I guess they don't do stuffing. And she tried. <laughs> no, no joke. That. I understand. No yeah. joke. It's and, not a cultural she, thing and for she them. She tried and she was like, I don't, I don't get it. And I was like, it's yeah. so good. It's just like buttery bread. It is. It is. <laughs> it's so and, good. Uh, and I'll probably make some mashed potatoes. I guess. Like, but I, I cheat. I basically it, like cook potatoes and then just like crush them and put some cheese in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that, man. We'll hook it up. Yeah, dude. I don't know if anybody's gonna come over. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe some fun. He's no, I'm gonna have the have a hot tub party on Thanksgiving. I am not getting on a. I'm not you going to out over there again. I'm not gonna pervert Thanksgiving. Getting <laughs> <laughs> at the hot tub perverted. What? How is it not? It's getting in a hot tub. This is a time where you're supposed to spend with your loved give ones. Thanks. Give thanks. I'm thankful thanks. for being in the hot tub <laughs> and eating steak and drinking whiskey. I'm off. I'm off for four days, I'm starting just, on Thanksgiving. I'm just letting you know that this, this is not normal behavior. <laughs> what? Get in the hot tub? Yeah, Jonas. Okay, look. I'm gonna ask. Hey, if you put in the comments, how many times you've been in the hot tub on a freaking Thanksgiving hey, hey. giving with Graham, Graham, and Mama next to you? Uh, oh, I got. It. You're just saying it's because I'd be hanging out with friends and not Graham, Graham. But Graham, Graham doesn't live here. If I was home, I'd be kicking it with Graham, Graham. Would you be in the hot tub with Graham, Graham? Dude, I would. She need to, man. They help your, they help your arthroporosis. Have some whiskey with me. Heck yeah, man. Get her in. They help out her orthoporosis. Her oath, her orthoporosis. That's not even a real thing. You know what I meant, though. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't have a bone deficiency. Thank you. Oh really? She has some other issue. What? Whoa, Jonas. I don't. We're not gonna go there. I thought that osteoporosis was basically just like it was going to happen. Bone density? Yeah, it has to do with uh, estrogen and stuff. Yeah. Because estrogen produces the... Okay, I'm not going to get into yeah, it. Yeah, I got you. But no, man, um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to grill out steak and that and eat stuffing and watch mm-hmm. football. That's cool. Listen to Merry Christmas, Little Mama. Listen to that. After we eat. Yeah. yeah. During mom cooking steak. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, maybe I'll listen to it. Maybe we'll bust it out on Thanksgiving because I'll be, I'll be thankful that it's time to listen to Yeah, that, that would play. make it great, man. Cook into that fucking... I'm st- Dang it, Joe. Cook into that. Yeah, I know. I did that last year with my girlfriend. She was like, what are we listening to? And I'm like, you don't like this? This is the best Christmas album ever. She's like, I hate Christmas music. I'm like, me too. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's like, okay, there's a couple. <laughs> We're not going through the track list. I don't even have a track list. All I know is that, like, you there's a song. What, how many songs are on it? Like, there's probably 20 songs. Yeah. Probably only goes for what? Maybe like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. Eh, maybe longer, longer than that. Maybe close to an hour. How, how about what is your favorite classic Christmas song, Jonas? Which one do you F with the most? Oh. Oh. Out, like uh we got chestnuts roasting. No. Chestnuts roasting on the uh, open fire. See, I've always I've always kind of like Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, get off your feet. Just, really? Yes. Um that one that one has a nice little poppy beat to it. What's the one from Home Alone? 
That one. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. It's creepy. It's like a horror Christmas. Yeah, I like horror Christmas. Give me all the horrors for Christmas. Horror for Christmas. I was listening to a song today, and in the song they say something about celebrating Halloween and Christmas. And I was like, that's absolutely great stuff. Like, like Jack Skeleton? Yeah, like decorate the house for Halloween on Christmas. Oh. That was like, oh, it seems like it would be hard to find Halloween decorations. Well, you would have to buy them. At, you see, what you could do is buy them on November 1st. You get them all real cheap. You hold on to them for two months, and then you decorate the house. Oh. Yeah, because you can get everything for like 80% off. You go to the, the Halloween store, holy crap, everything's like free. Are they even open? They're open that time of year? No, but you have to go the day after after Halloween to buy the stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, dude, I would. Well, you've already missed your opportunity. I don't, de I don't decorate, though, ever, for anyone. I don't even get a tree, dude. I would would not be mad if we just decorated for Halloween year round. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. People show up in February. There's just jack o' lanterns and stuff all over the house. We have a, we have pumpkins. We carve pumpkins for. No, not I like that hokey stuff. But if you had like some chains and like some cobwebs in the corner, maybe like a cauldron just like bubbling or something. Wow. They had to tip oh, it. come they on! They tip it nine times to each other on the corner. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah, wanted to get their hands I mean, on the tip. Yeah, it was, it'd be interesting. What was he? Was he taking a poop? Yeah, I don't know. What did we start this with? What did you ask yeah. me about? Nickelback. No, <laughs> that's where we started. It was not Nickelback. It was. You said, "How do you feel about Nickelback?" We started talking about. We were talking about the females of but rock. You, the first. Oh, did it start with Nickelback? You asked me about. You said I said Dimeback and quarterback, and you said I also oh, said Nickelback. Oh yeah, it did. Dude, we get so far off where we started. It's dude. fine now. Dude, I'm so excited about that CD, though. <laughs> Dang it, I hate Nickelback. <laughs> I freaking hate them so bad. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> They're so bad. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, so if I had to choose one, Jonas, I would think that that uh, Parson Brown song. In the metal, we can build a snowman. Oh, you mean Frosty Snowman? No, it's not part. That's a Charles Brown. You say there ain't no man. We can do the job of your town. Later on, walk, walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, man, that was good. Dude. And there is another one from Home Alone that I cannot think of. Where what is it, it at? Is. Home Alone. What are they doing? When it's, when it's, it rolls over the credits, I think. And um, and it's I don't know, man. I can't think of it. Uh, but it's it's a pretty good song. I like that one a lot. Uh, Easter songs, Jonas, that you like. Oh, <laughs> pick your favorite Easter song. Beyond the Easter Bunny's favorite hop along. Here comes Rabbit Cotton. <laughs> and is that on the Kanye West album? It's on the new one. Yeah. <laughs> that has Easter. <laughs> Sweet man. Easter Rex. Easter Rex. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are uninitiated, a wreck is a ten thousand dollars. Rex on Rex on Rex. That's what that meant, Jonas. You know that. All right, good for you. And a stack, Jonas. Hundo. No, a stack is a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A band is a, it's a band. A band. When they show they walk in, if I got bands. Okay, so bands are when the money the, comes from the bank. Yeah, when the money comes from the bank and they're banded together. I think they usually come in two thousand, five thousand, and ten thousand stacks with all hundreds. <laughs> oh wait, that could also. It's kind of there's a duality, Jonas. The bands could also be talking about his necklaces. And his uh, his Rolex, of oh, course. Oh, because he'd be groping on them. And they'd no. be dropping. <laughs> no, because they're called bands. Yeah, yeah, but why would he be dropping his bands on them? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. If he, but if he's having coitus with them, his bands could be dropping on them. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. So there is a duality. Oh, no, I think in that sense, it's all like contextual. I think he was just talking about dropping money. On a stripper, yeah. I think yeah. So. Or, or either that or like, you know, he'll crush you with his wallet, stuff like that. Like that. You wonder if they're going to be able to like some stuff. It's, yeah, it's poetry, man. <laughs> when you get down. <laughs> when you really 
totally analyzed it. It's poetic. It's very much alliteration. Jesus, another it's, touchdown. It's like code word alliteration. <laughs> oh, what was the name of that Home Alone? I'm going to look it up. All right, well, it's over now. That's fine, dude. That's Maybe. all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you heard. If you've already done that, please make sure to share this video with everybody you know, including Grandma. She wants to hear it, too. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. For now, we are a different